Hello everyone, welcome back to From Trackside Podcast. Yes, with your host coach Minzy. And we're here to discuss two of the greats, two of the legend. We are gonna settle all score right now, no people. Yeah, man. Because we hear some talks and we want to know what the people thoughts are. Who is the best? Who you believe the best is. But here we're gonna want now, people. You see when you know addresses in the comment section. I want you to be objective. Don't use feelings. You get what me I say? Because I want you to follow truth over feelings. You get what me I say? Feelings can change. Feelings can be adjusted. But truth, you can never change. You get what me I say? So we want to settle all score right now. Who you think is the greatest? You understand what me I say? So... Before we get into that, like the video, share the content, subscribe to the channel, no man. When we publish, when we go live, you will be notified. Yeah, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend about us. All right, so two greats, Glenn Mills and Steve Francis, two of the top clubs on the island. You understand? Glenn Mills, Racers Track Club, um, Stephen Francis, MVP Track Club. And you know, said so them two clubs that churn out some top athletes, world athletes. You get what me I say? Yeah, man. So, me we jump in a little bit on a little historical run of Glenn Mills. You understand? Because Glenn Mills wanted to become a sprinter. You know? Better enough, you never know. Yeah, man. Glenn Mills wanted to become a sprinter because he actually enjoyed athletics from an early age. You understand? No. Based on his performances, he never, you know, get around to be a professional sprinter like he wanted to be. So basically, he stick around track and field. And um, his, the high school coach, Henry McDonald Messam, people might remember that name. You understand? And he was the man who actually, you know, allowed Glenn Mills to bust in at the game. You understand? Um, Glenn Mills was doing his thing and he was actually uh, coaching at Camperdown because they wanted more senior coaches. Glenn Mills was ousted and trust me, the Camperdown massive never liked that. And you know what I mean? They basically do what they do and Glenn Mills basically go in place. Uh, I want place to train the youths them and people them say, yo, that can't work. So they bring him back. Um, Glenn Mills and of course the rest is history Glenn Mills has coached a plethora of athletes to character games world games all of these things you understand a noted noted notable athletes Johan Blake Aileen Bailey Xavier Brown Leroy Reed Kim Collins Duane Chambers so he has done a lot you understand so you have to big up Glenn Mills for what he has done in the sport. So him start out early. The greatest thing is that Glenn Mills had a 1, 2, 3 at the, 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 the Olympics. Johan, Usain and Warren Blake. He has also coached a number of athletes in terms of G.S. Young and them youth that were did a go on a bag of things. You understand? So a whole lot of youth. Um... He has also coached um, Lanford Spence, Aladdin Fothergill, Sherry Ann Brooks, uh, Marvin Anderson. A whole heap of youth come out of Glen Mills. And, and we are talking about world athletes. You understand? The biggest thing for Glen Mills right now do you know, is the Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt um, thing where um, he actually has two world records. You understand? And no... Nobody can take that from him. Johan Blake, second fastest man over 100, second fastest man over 200, plus the fastest man. So Glenn Mills basically, I go on a bag of things there, so people. So you have to decide in a world record, and then he has uh, 
second on 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 both sides, one hundred and the two hundred. People say if him produce any any four hundred meters, well one bob can put him him hot in the race right now because one bob one bob say a Glen Mills coach him you know. You understand? So based on all of these things, people, oh you rate Glen Mills. You understand upon the um upon the upon the track scene. Alright, so make we talk about Stephen Francis and no <laughs> the, the the Enigma Frano. You understand? Hey Stephen Francis, me I tell you yo, I wanna the man where <laughs> You know really I go find a lot about Stephen Francis telling the people. You know go find a lot about him. You understand? But Stephen Francis basically started out his 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 track thing at 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 Ulmer's. Um, from what I understand, from what I've learned, is that Stephen was dabbling in the throws. So while um Glenn Mills was in the in 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 the sprinting from an early age, Stephen had dealt with the throws. But the fact is that Stephen has 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 grown into a track and field coach. You understand? And what Stephen has done is is tremendous, like Glenn Mills. You get what I say? Um Stephen Francis basically Um what you call it now? Churn out a lot of um athletes. Million Walker Um Shelley and Fraser Price, Ilian Thompson, Rasheen McDonald, um, Bridget, a whole heap of athletes, a Safa Powell, a um, whole heap of athletes. You understand? Jeremy and Mason, Long Jumper, Odean Richards. Uh, the Long Jumper is 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 our friend there. What's name again, man? The name eludes me right now. But you know who I'm talking Yeah, man. The world champion. So, Glenn Mills have a lot of, well, Glenn Mills have world record and champions. Two fastest times. 100 and 200. See him? Stephen Francis spread him wings over a wide array of disciplines in track and field. And he has had success in both. He win long jump, silver in, 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 in silver in what? In high jump, Jeremy and Mason. Um win four hurdles, win one hundred uh, meter hurdles. Um in the win nothing on the male side, you know. Likewise, Stephen um Glenn Mills don't win nothing on the female side. Win one hundred with female, win two hundred with female, win um double double with Ilian. You get what I say? Um, so yo, the thing set a way, Virgin. So, yo, I want the people them now based on this bit of information. I mean, no, I leave out some information, but I want to know, put in back some information. When you give your points, if I miss out on information, you put in that information. But may I tell you, a two great coach people, and how me I conclude this matter, Steve Francis is rounded in the different disciplines in track and field so he has produced far and wide where sprinting um vertical and horizontal jump is concerned plus the hurdles well sprinting would have come under that you get what i say and 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 glenn mills you would have say he's a pure sprinter would you say that both are needed in the in in, in the sport i believe so so for me Every man are strong, um, would have been strong in their own area. Stephen Francis is strong on more disciplines. Glenn Mills are just a pure sprinter. How would I separate them? It's hard to separate because guess what? One man don't go stick. So how would I separate them? I, mean, I probably can give you a hint. You probably can say, let's match up Glenn Mills' sprinting record with Stephen Francis. And you can, alright, so Glenn Mills on the male side, 
Steve does so. Steve now had world records on the male side too, you know. And a Glenn Mills come broke it. You get what I say? Match up Glenn Mills against Steve on the female side. So you see, say it would have been unbalanced people. So that's why now, when you are telling me now who are the better person for set of the argument, you have to come with facts. Because both coaches would have done well in whatever they have tried. So you tell me now your thoughts. May I wait enough people? Big up on yourself.